Hey guys, Dean Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. We're back at it. I don't have anything super witty to say except for how badly this is slowing down. My goodness. All right, so we did some of the comets last time, which if you've been collecting your comet medals, as you should, the game will occasionally fire one up for you. And we were alerted last time that we've got a comet in Puzzle Plant Galaxy. So we're going to start off with that. Time to play with our wood. Start out hot in this episode. Here we go, another prankster comet. The purple coin. Oh boy, they're starting off early with purple coins. Okay, prepare yourselves. The purple coin shadow vault. If you all don't mind this, you're gonna love it. Purple coins for everybody. A nice little purple vignette. We have a minute to grab all the coins. Is it just the ones in here? Oh, and we're being chased by cosmic clones. I remember this. So you're gonna have to do yourself a bit of a favor and occasionally take kind of arbitrary moves to slow down the cosmic clones. If you don't, then by the time you loop back around, they will come for you. So I like to make little circles, slows them down, gives me just enough of a buffer so I don't bump into them. Going pretty swimmingly though. We are almost done. Oops, okay. This looks like this is a first try, ladies and gentlemen. You bet your behinds. Oh yeah, and they're gonna explode, hopefully into millions and billions of star bits. Yes. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. You get so many. So grab all the ones from the cosmic clones first in case they evaporate for some reason, but yeah. That's a nice amount of star bits, too. What a prize. Oops. Let's backflip into our star. That's a two-minute star. You're welcome. Pretty incredible. I don't intend for these episodes to last as short or as long as they do. It's really dependent on the stars I do and how horrible I am. And if it's a quick star, then usually we can complete it in a Jeff. We're pretty good with quickies, so... This episode might just be Prankster Comets. If that's what's in store for us, I don't know where that one is. Thankfully, the game is very kind and alerting you on the map. I think this might be from the very first galaxy we did at Sky Station. So, a little blast from the past. Does anybody remember eight episodes ago? Oh my goodness, how time flies. So we'll see what type this one is. I think it's a little strange they don't tell you. So this is the Pee Wee Piranha Speedrun. They don't give you a heads up. In Mario Galaxy 1, they did tell you, color-coded, what type of star it was going to be. Like red ones were the Daredevil Comets, the purple ones obviously purple. The yellowy ones were usually the speedrun, so yeah. It's a little weird that they don't do that, but we got ourselves a speedrun, which TV slash DMike plays. Eventually, probably not for speedrunning, but hey, we'll get there, huh? But you're gonna wanna speed it up. You only have so much time. Make sure you collect those little clocks. Excuse me. Collect your little clocks. Listen to some cold play while you're at it. This one's not too tough, but it is it is kind of a nice change of pace, which I think is good. I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to be going. I forget how this star is built, but that's fine. Oops, excuse me. I'd like to be on top of you. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. We're failing. We're failing. Oh, oh it's horrible. Oh, okay. Well, like I said, I don't know how the stars are going to go, so. You're like, ah, oh, horribly. All right, so we're just going to take a shortcut here. I guess I don't really know if that saves time to be honest because I don't I don't wind up grabbing the clock that's available which seems kind of probably dumb on my end this is unnecessarily stressful all right so we got another star it's gonna just be perpetually counting down oh I did not get the clock <laughs> hopefully there's a a nice slowdown before the boss fight. Oh, we got three seconds. We got it. Guys, come on, easy. We can totally do this boss in three seconds. 
I don't even know if, if there are uh, clocks on this sir. Oh, there are. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab those first. Come back. Thank you. Game does not care for this boss whatsoever. Yeah, let's just run around and collect those in advance. We actually probably need to be pretty dang mindful of time. Oops. 30 seconds should be enough to beat the baby piranha. It'd be really rude if they didn't uh, give you any additional clocks. And if they counted down during the cutscene, that would be exceptionally rude. Oops. Oh, I'm going to potentially die here. I need a coin. Mario, you need coin. Okay. Oops. <laughs> or we'll just die the old-fashioned way. Why not? We only have 48 li 47 lives. Okay. So maybe we don't do that this way. Maybe we go around the outside. Yeah, collecting this first probably would have been smart. Yeah, this is uh, a little tricky. We'll stop trying to be such a tough guy and... I think that it's rude that it still counts down while you're in the launch star. You can't control that. I think it's a bummer. I don't know if there's a better way to do this part. There's only the one clock. Oh. Okay. And there's the one that's up there, I guess I could have gone, but thankfully, once you pop into the Baby Prana planet, you can collect all the clocks you need. Chris Martin would approve. There's a coin for later if we need it. All right. I don't know if it's good to like front load the, if it's good to front load the clocks or if it's good to leave them around when you need them. Oops. Would really love to smack your bottom. Grab a coin, grab a clock. You just gotta kind of be, you gotta be pretty sharp. All right, so we've got nine seconds. We'll try to be mindful of each other's time. Oh, I left another clock around. There it is. I would like PD Piranha, or Baby Piranha, to jump at me. Criss Cross will make a jump, jump, rest in peace. Okay, oops. This is kind of tough to do. I feel like I almost really need that, uh... Oh, I would have had him. I would have smacked his bottom as time expired. Okay. So I think I do, I do actually need that final, that final timer. That one's very useful to have. The game is not, it's pretty stingy here. Kind of a bummer, but. All right, so that's the fastest we've gotten into that segment. I just feel like it takes, the amount of time that it takes you to get the final timer, like, is it worth it, you know? I don't know. I can't tell, but I can tell that I'm not doing well. Oops, no, no. <laughs> I saved all that time just to butt stomp into oblivion, great. All right, so it seems like maybe long jumps are at a bit of a premium here. That's a good way to get yourself moving in a hurry. So let's hop into the big hole here. All right. So we bested our time by one second. So we are a speedrunner. There's the old PB. Check my splits, everybody. Oko and whatever words that speedrunners use that I don't understand. Okay. So we're doing fine. Guys, it's fine. Just take a deep breath. Jeez, you're panicking and it's making me stressed out. All right. So I think maybe getting both of them is good. There's the one that's a little bit down this way. Yes. I don't really know if that helps. I guess having 28 seconds to start the fight is better than some of the other times we've started with. I think I just need to get good. That's probably the, the recipe for success. Just get good. Smack his shiny red butt. Turn around, show me your buns. There we go. And it lets you skip the cutscene, which is nice. Mash through cutscenes, everybody, for ultimate speed to set your PB. I'm offending 
literally dozens of people right now. Okay. Oop. Nope, come back. All right, so 30 seconds should be plenty. Two more hits, I think. Nope, come back. Nope, come back. Oh boy, I spoke too soon. So it should be running at us. That's it. Look at that, plenty of time. I guess that final clock did help. Give us 10 extra seconds. Okay. Whew. Third of the video, and we already have two stars, guys. Good job. Excellent work taking down that speeder comet, speedster, whatever word comet. That was a pretty tough one. It's a good, I feel like that's a good introduction to those type of galaxies. Not too tough. But this might just be purely prankster comments. I'm just taking them as they give them to me. Taking the punches as they go. Lava, what do you need? Okay, no. Actually, I uh, will do whatever I want. And I would appreciate in the future if you'd show your map. So let's see. Is it World 2? It is World 2. Time to go bowling. More boulder bowl. I feel... A little slighted that they didn't put another star in this one to start. But we'll take the... We'll take the Comet. What Prankster Comet are you? The Rolling Crab or Rump? Ooh, is this the one that I think that it is? No, it is not. No, it is not. There are some Boulder Bowl style stars in the future that are pretty... notorious. We'll say that. Alright, so you got a minute. A time limit based comet. First off, time to boulder bowl. So let's see how good you are at killing crustaceans. It looks like you can only kill so kill so many at a time. Oh no, where's the oh boy, where's the power up? Yeah, there's a lot. Ah oh, man, you guys know how much I hate having crabs. It's, it's totally a horrible way to to ruin a weekend. I guess you don't really need to do the the full the full roll here because you can always pull out when things start to get out of control. And that's a good way to avoid having crabs. So that's that's just words to live by, I would say. This star is kind of annoying, so we're really hoping I have to do it twice. Where are you? Oh come on. Come on. One more. Come on, please. Is that it? Did I do it? <gasps> Guys, I did it. First try. With one second to go. What tension. Whoop. We did it. Man, we're just burning through this episode. My goodness. Hopefully I'm really bad at this final star. This is going to be the shortest episode of the Let's Play. Oh boy. Can you handle that? The Rolling Crabber Romp. Whew. I don't really have a way to pad this out, so... Hopefully Flip Swap is... Absolutely a disaster. Alright, Bank Toad wants to give us an update. Here we go. Oh, this is... Sorry, this is Mail Toad. A letter to the Baby Luma. To my lost Luma. I hope this letter reaches you in bright spirits, little one. This should be of some help to you on your journey back to me. May the stars shine down on you. Okay. Is that Rosalina? Is that... Ooh, and 50 star bits. Well, thank you. We will absolutely take your money. And if you want to look at all the previous letters, apparently you can. So, good for you. We'll talk to Nerd Toad here. He has found four additional star bits. Thanks, buddy. We'll go ahead and deposit them. We'll waste a little bit of time. We're getting close. Almost 2,000. Your glasses are the nerdiest thing I've ever seen, you nerdly nerd. Okay, here we go. Zoom out. If you have glasses, then you're just a nerd. All right. Wait, is this where I want? No, this is not it. Whoops. Just kidding. Tactical zoom out. All right, here we go. Flip swap, our final star of the day, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll see how well I do on this one. I feel like an episode that's 20 minutes long isn't a deal breaker. 
And that's, you know, more that you can fit into your day, having to watch me. The purple coin flipping. Oh boy. This sounds miserable and I haven't even seen it yet. Oh boy. And this is like timed too? That's rude. <laughs> oh boy. Yikes. Three minutes. Okay. Are they on the other side of it though? Like, if the coins are just the visible ones, I can deal with that. But if they're on the opposite side of the platforms, that is turbo rude. So hopefully it's just sticking to the ones that are seen by the naked eye, by my unclothed eye. Oh, thank God for a life. Wasn't sure if we were gonna make it. All right. If we're gonna make it with our naked eye. Okay. So the star is interesting so far. I don't know how generous or not three minutes is, but we're gonna find out. We are flipping and swapping, I tell you what. You just gotta make sure that when you do that, when you jump from platform to platform, you don't have a rogue shake of your Wii. Oh boy. No, no, oh. It pushed me back on, but I thought it was imminent doom there. Here's a regular coin, a regular coin for all of you. How do we feel about the color purple? I think purple's a good color. My favorite color is red, if you couldn't have guessed. Which you should have guessed. Um, we're friends by now. Oh boy. Oh man. That should not have counted. But anyway, purple's like a slightly worse red. And red's great! So I mean like, a B minus red. I can deal with that. Certainly can't, oh boy. Gotta get out of the way of the Bow Wow. They're coming in hot. They will basically just follow along the route of the... the red platforms. Ooh. I've already been bailed out twice. I don't know if I can keep this up. Ooh. I am full clench right now. Yeah, this is kind of... <laughs> kind of exhausting here. I am shaking my Wii like nobody's business. Hopefully... Hopefully my blinds are closed. Okay, here we go. We're doing all right. We're almost done. You just have to make sure that when you make those long jumps, you don't accidentally shake when you don't mean to. Sometimes it's not best to shake it. You don't need to shake your groove thing all the time. Oh, no, no. Oh, game, give me the ledge. I didn't deserve that. Have me sweating. Man, I crushed, crushed those prankster comments today. Shall be proud. You saw it here, folks. Only on D my place. Nobody has ever beaten four stars in 18 and a half minutes. Maybe a little bit around that time, depending upon how I edit this. All right, it opens up another one. I don't even remember what. Okay, that's Tall Trunk. That's the one with Luigi. That'll be for next time. Let's go ahead and check our World 1 star. So we've finished... Oh. I guess they can do comets for the Bowser levels. That's interesting. And we haven't done... Uh, one, two, three. So we still have half left in World 2 and quite a few left for World 3, which we will... Uh, Tackle next time. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2. I'll catch you later. Bye.